Hi, welcome to Targeted AI Solutions. I just want to take you through the application just to make sure that you can get yourself started off as fast as possible. Now, everything's fairly straightforward and simple. It should be fairly self-explanatory, but I'll cover off everything anyway. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is log in. Once you've logged in, you can access your experts from the button below. And this will take you to your core 12 digital services delivery experts. Okay, like Ben Richardson, Accessibility Manager, and we've got a Google Business Profile, Expert, Citation Manager, etc. And you'll find 12 of these fully functional expert AI people. Now, to get the full functionality of these, you will need to set up an API key. Now, to do this, we're going to go to User Settings, go from the green key. I'll open up the user settings page. And the first thing you notice at the top of the page is just a banner that tells you what license you've currently got. That may be an annual or a lifetime license, depending on what you've purchased. But the key part of this is to create uh, your open API account and to get an API key. So it says an open AI API key is required for full function of this app. Click the create free open AI account button. Click the Get API Key link and then paste the API key into the field below. So to do that, we simply click this blue button here, create the free API account, free open AI account. Now I've actually, um, I'm going to change the address because I've actually already got an account. And you can, of course, use Continue with Google or Microsoft account or Apple. In fact, I'm just going to show you the process that takes you through with an email address, you'll need to select a password of some kind, of course, and then you continue. And then you just need to verify your email. Basically, you're, you're done. So follow that process through until you have created that account. Once your account's created, as I said, I've already got an account. So you can then click the Get API Key link, and down here you'll see another Create Free API link, Get API link, and Check API Usage link. So we can now get my API key. In fact, I've already got a few API keys, obviously I've been using, but you'll probably have nothing here at the time and you'll need to create a new secret key. Now, the thing about this is when you create a key, I can call it a name. So I'm gonna call this TRIS for the application name. Create a secret key and it creates it and I can copy that key. However, you won't be able to see it again, so you'll have to copy it at that point. If you don't copy it off, it's in here, T-A-I-S, but if I go to edit the key, I can edit the name, but that's all. I can't actually see the key. So it says your secret keys are listed below. Please note, we'll only display your secret API key again after you generate them. So if you lose your key or you need to change your key, you need to regenerate a new key, delete the old one, and re-add re them in. But the bottom line is you need to have copied that key. If I now go back to the user settings, I can paste in my user key, and I just need to save the API key. Okay, and to make sure it's saved, you can show the API key and you'll see it up here. Okay, with all that done, I can now go to experts, and now my experts should be fully working for me. If I go to uh, this one, Amber Jackson, the reputation manager, click on there, it will open up my AI expert panel. Over here, it tells you my name is Amber Jackson, dedicated to reputation management and what she actually does. On the left-hand side, you will see some common questions that are already in place for you. Uh, who are you? What exactly is reputation management? Then there's a sales and marketing section with a load of questions and prompts on. Uh, you've got a technical delivery section, which will have some pre-made questions these are all just to get you started and this checklist where you can actually just click any of these the reputation manager strategy and planning checklist for instance and it every time you click anything in this side it will come up in this talk with amber and now you can ask the question and it will go off and ask a question for you in this case we're looking for a detailed checklist on reputation management strategy and planning and there we are so down here it's produce a checklist find goals and objectives, blah, 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 etc. So you've got a nice checklist there for that. Anything that you create in here, we can save into the history. So if we add that to history, sure, we'll add it to history, we can. And now we look in the right-hand side, we'll see we have panels with everything that we've done here in here. So now we can either print this off, we can use this as content, 
or you can copy from here back into here to ask further questions. Included in here as well is training tools, certification and deliverables. Now these are generated by uh, Amber in this particular case. So if you go to training, you'll find a page that gives you a whole training guide specifically for reputation management. There's a why reputation, key deliverables, key platform, how reputation management improves your local businesses. And then there's a number of videos. Uh, best practice reputation management, social media listening. I mean, depending on which expert tells you what, these will vary. But basically, you'll get a full training explanation for that. You also get tools, which gives you the software and whatever other online and offline tools that are generally used and how to use them for that particular service. And again, we'll have certification, which shows you the certification path, if there is one for that particular service as well. Again, video guides and in fact, uh, certification courses, etc. on here. And if I return to the expert again, uh, deliverables, then it'll give you some specific deliverables for that service on how you can help you deliver that service if you're if that's something that you want to do so selling accessibility services to local businesses in this case six steps to sell review management services etc so there's videos and various training uh, some solutions down here so basic reputation management strategy um, manage multiple client review plugins from a central panel so this is part of the power online reviews plugin that they use for reputation management uh, and how to use it, etc. So all that will be available to you from your local expert. And of course, each one will be different, of course. And basically, you can type anything you like into this talk with uh, whoever your expert is, ask the questions. You can also, whatever you click in here, so how can I sell services to local businesses? And you can ask the question, or you can copy the question to the clipboard for instance, and go off wherever you want, but also you can go to some external, if you've got accounts uh, with these Claude, Bard, UAI, uh, you can go to ChatGDP and Bing. And of course you can take these questions outside of here and, and if you want to uh, operate them on the outside of the actual app. Similarly, if you ask that question, uh, you can do the same down the bottom here, you can clipboard, you can Bing chat, GBT chat, etc., and take the response outside as well, if that's what you want to do. There's also a GPT kit checker, which if you're looking to create content from here, then this will actually go out. Uh, if I go to the kit checker, tells you what it's copied. This is the actual result of that. I can OK that. If you log into that account, you'll need to log in. The account's free, but you need to log into that one. And submit it, and it tells and it analyzes on whether it believes this is obviously human or AI generated. Now, obviously, it is AI generated, so you're likely to get some there, but it gives you an idea if you're using this as original content, etc., and you want to make it look as human as possible, then it, it is a test that you can use. So, let's just go back in there again. We can add that to the history if we wanted to. And again, we have a history here and we can add as many as we like. And each time we add something to the history, you'll get a new open close button on there and you can keep a history and then you can download or clear that history as you wish. Also, you can use uh, the chat GPT 3.5, which is it uses the latest version of that. You can use chat GTP 4. Generally, chat GTP 3.5 is all you will need. It is clever enough and bright enough to give you all the solutions that you want. You can uh, chat GTP for costs a bit more in API credits, as it says here. Uh, so this is the most efficient one to use, the GBT 3.5. But if you decide you want anything more or try something different, then that's available for you. OK, that kind of covers each of the basic elements in there. So if I go back to my experts again now, you'll see that we've got go to your personal experts and go to your expert libraries. Those buttons will be there, but you'll only be able to access those if you've purchased those options. And I'll cover those in a separate video.